Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna go make a tutorial, or not so much a tutorial, but an introduction to cinematics. I will tell you where you can find more info on cinematics and how you can learn it easily. Uh, this will contain a few spoilers from the very first mission of the StarCraft 2 campaign. So if you don't want to see that, um, then yeah, don't watch this video. So the reason I haven't been making so many tutorials lately is obviously since StarCraft 2 is out. I'm playing through it like a madman. Yesterday I finally made it through the last mission on Brutal, which was a pain. Only to realize that I disconnected from Battlenet during one of the loading scene, uh, screens. And I didn't notice, so I didn't get my achievement, and I have to do it all over again. Woohoo! Anyway, let's get on with this tutorial. I've opened the map editor here. I don't have any particular map open. If you want to learn cinematics and many other things, you c and like if you see something cool in the campaign, you can now go to File Open here, and you can click Campaign on the top here. And you can see all the campaign maps. Um, I'm going to load up the first one here, T Rainer 01. Okay. So now some few spoilers. If you haven't played the campaign, um, you will not know this. But in the campaign, uh, first mission, when you walk through the area, you'll see this hollow board with Minsk on it, and there will be a short cinematic showing you well close showing you a close up of the hollow board. So let's go and start in the terrain editor. And I'm just gonna go through that cinematic or show you where to find it rather. As you can see, if you look at the map you'll see a lot of regions. Uh, which is how Blizzard do all cinematics in the game. I mean a cinematic is nothing more than a few triggers controlling the units or showing some text or playing some fi sound files while you remove um, <coughs> camera control from the player. So the first main statue should be uh, somewhere around here. If I can just find it now. I seem to recall it's around here somewhere. Ah, billboard one. Here it is. For some reason it hasn't loaded up for me. Eh, I loaded this mission earlier and I could see it, but right now I can't see it for some reason. Oh well, doesn't matter. It's right here. And uh, if we take view, show layer, cameras, you can see Blizzard has set up a couple of cameras pointing at it. And there's a region to trigger it here. And then you have the Cameras, then you have some cameras here. Mini billboard one, billboard two. Um, yeah, this is basically just a lot of tweak work to set up cameras to set where it should be looking, fixing the view tiny bit, moving it to the left, right to get the view that you want. You can also move cameras around during cinematics with triggers. So let's go look at the triggers themselves. Uh, Blizzard has organized their triggers quite well. You should look over one of their maps and you can probably learn something from it. Uh, you see how they organize, you can see how they set up difficulties, and they have some utility functions here that shows you how to use actions to do stuff, a cheat, and there's lots of info in these game files. Uh, so you should, if you're new to mapping, this is a great place to start. Just play the campaign mission and then go through the game files and figure out exactly how they did everything. <coughs> so, I assume it's a mid-game here with billboard Q. It doesn't have a trigger, so let's go to gameplay. I was looking at this earlier. First holoboard encounter. Area 2. So any unit enter billboard 01 trigger, which we saw in the editor is here, which covers the entire path so that the unit has to enter this area over here when it goes through here. And a couple of conditions. 
And the first thing it does is turn off the crit trigger, so it doesn't trigger again, obviously. But maybe you want to trigger your cinematic at the start of the map. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to go through this in detail. I'm just going to show you where to find it and how to read through it. You'll see often that it uses this run trigger, mid billboard Q, and then Rainer says kill hollowboard Q. What you'll have to do, you'll just have to look through here and see if you can find them. Here's the Rainer says. All it does is play a sound and attach a talk icon to Rainer. And if you go down here, mid billboard Q, you'll see this is the actual cinematic. It runs a bunch of triggers, set up triggers for here is more setting up the um, display, removing the window around it, and so on. Uh, or removing the UI, I mean, and setting up, fading in, fading out the screen, and so on. Uh, I'm not going to explain every single thing here. You can try them out yourself and see how they work. You can even just remove them from this map, delete them, and run the map, and see what happens. Um, if you have triggers that are done on single players, well, here you have a player group, so then you can pick all players. But in some cases, you have triggers like this player that is triggered for a single player, which is an integer value. If that happens, you can use. Ooh, this is ugly. Uh, you can use um, pick each uh, player in player group, or for each player in player group, and then use active players or all players, and then just apply the action on all of them. So, um, yeah, it's, I would advise you to just look over these triggers. Uh, it's very simple. Here you can see how you can make, allow a trigger to, or uh, allow a cinematic to be skipped. If you have all your cinematic in a single trigger, and then you trigger it from another trigger, so you have, like here, you have the setup, then you have the cinematic itself, then you have the end of the cinematic, and the cleanup. So in the cinematic trigger, they have this allowed to be, skipped if it hits escape or whatever. And if it's skipped, it just skips out of this trigger and then it starts keeps running the end part. You'll see here if it wasn't completed, if it was skipped, it will fade out faster. And then you have some cleanup which resets all the things it did in the setup here. In the setup for instance it hid all the players of the or all the units of the enemies enemy units. It paused all the units and pause the day cycle and lots of stuff. So, yeah, uh, I'll end it there before we go over 10 minutes. Uh, this wasn't as much a tutorial as just a pointer on how you can figure out how to do cinematics yourself. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, open this map or any other campaign map. Every single map has cin cinematics. So, yeah, good luck. And until next time.